Tracking is an optional setting within Xero and can be used for cost center or divisional reporting. And before you ask, it can't be used for job costing. So from settings, I go to general settings and to tracking. So here we've already got a tracking category set up called region. And this region has four category options, east side, north, south and west coast. Up to four tracking categories can be created, but only two can be active at any one time. And each category can have unlimited options. So I'm going to set up a second category called salespeople. And my salespeople are Jack, Joe, Emily, David and Charlie and I shall save. Now every time I create a transaction I'm able to assign one option from each of my categories or not assign any options at all. So once I've got these set up I can then run reports. So under reports and all reports I can run a tracking summary. So I can select a certain account group and I'm going to set a select sales and I can select my tracking category. I haven't got any data under salespeople so I'm going to choose region. And so I can see a bit more data than just um, the 1st to the 30th of November. I'm going to change this back to the 1st of October. Now I have a sales summary report for the region from the 1st of October to the 30th of November. And we can see my four regions down here plus an unassigned group. And this will be any transactions that have not had a region option allocated to it. So we have opening balances, net activity and closing balances. I can also run a profit and loss showing the profit and loss differences between my regions. So if I go to all reports and to my profit and loss, now I'm defaulting to the to the, the standard profit and loss within zero, but I want to compare my regions. I can compare my sales staff if I had any data against them. So I'm going to look at the regions. And we default to the current financial year. And you can see I have my east side, north, south and west coast regions plus my unassigned. And when they're all added together, you get the normal profit and loss figures on the end column. And we can see how each region are doing. So the east side's made a loss. But west coast has made a fantastic profit. So then we can start investigating what we can do with east side to make it more like west coast and any of the figures in this profit and loss that are in blue we can click on those and drill down to where those figures came from